After the order, members converged at the village square to hear the latest announcement from the town crier. The community has yet lost another pregnant woman while going in search of a medical attention. And a boy has just collapsed because he was not treated on time. This was how members of Lagasa lived their everyday life a few decades ago. On daily basis, the entire community live in fair. Nobody knows whose turn is next. Imagine yourself here. The history is, uh, of Lagasa is compiled of Barua Odofi family, Oguda Redaudu family, uh, Alausa family, and uh, Belo family. They were from Ilefe, an Adoro family. They came from Ilefe as far back as 1672. They settled here and they have been here since that time. And that time when there is no road from the Holy Bejuleki to Lagos, no road. Unless we are going to Lagos, they will come to Lagasa through water. It is the old Ibeduleki comes to Lagasa to transport themselves to Lagos. If you don't come to Lagasa, you don't go to Lagos. Lagasa is an ancient town in Ibeduleki local government area. Its origin can be traced back to the Hod Ileife. Hence, the reason Yoruba tribe became major occupant of the town. Lagasa is an agrarian town in its early days which makes it lack basic infrastructure. In fact, members of this community depend on rickety wooden boats to transport their farm produce to other towns they believed are more advanced. We are doing farming. All our farming, all our fishing, they go through the boats to Lagos for, for, for sale. So we have, that time, we are in difficulties. According to community members, Nobody ever imagined Lagasa to be what it is today. The development comes from the uh, communities, we that reside in the community, especially the other community across the water that uh, happen to build our neighboring community. Fifteen years ago, you cannot pass this area anytime we are in raining season. We abandoned the road. But thank God today, through the self project, Listen, you can see it's a bit more terrible now. The development in the present day community has made its population skyrocket from a few hundred to thousands. And even at that, members of this community are still battling with a major challenge the need to have outposts in the community to take care of their health challenges. What we believe in this community is that not everything government will do, they are where you support the government. That's what we call community self-project. We believe if you are waiting for the government to come, you are, we are not the only community the government will come into. We have a lot of, for example, like CDAs now, we have over 3,000 CDAs. If you think it might be your turn tomorrow, it may not. In the next five years, it may not. But so far, the, the community have an asset to do such a thing. They should try their efforts. That is the effort we made in having this place today. When Lagos Community Update visited Lagasa during the course of this report, we were told of how far they have to travel before they can assess qualitative medical attention. The nearest hospital to us is Akodo. Apart from Akodo, you go to Ekwe. Imagine a woman who is laboring from the other side of the water before you get to Akodo or to Ekwe. You know, it's a very difficult issue. The situation became worse for pregnant women, children and aged. With major resources, many could not afford private hospitals. They only wished for a health post publicly owned by the community. We've lost many lives. In terms of uh, deaths, daring, when they wanted to give birth, majority of our women used to die. Maybe after birth or before delivery. And some people used to seek before taking them out. When this community was in the bush, before going out, it wasn't an easy task. You have to look here and there, look for a healthy person that will help you carry the patients out. I've been into this community 
for the past 15 years, I realized earth is wet. People delivering then, even my wife, when she was pregnant, to deliver, we have to go to Akodo. Akodo is our surmise to this place. Anything may happen along the road. Secondly, people are the Riverine area. We have about eight communities in the Riverine area. They find it difficult too. During delivery time or during sickness, before you can get to that place, sometimes it might have happened. Seeking to address their plight, the executive members of Lagasa Community Development Association put on their hammer and began a journey that will benefit everybody. A health post was constructed, a relief to many. The health center has to be a challenge, or the health center has to be a challenge in this community. That's why I now think of what is the first thing to do? I need to help people in the community in terms of health wise. That's why the community now came together. I need to think of the first thing to go is to go for the health, health centers so that people will be access to health facilities when it comes to the sickness, elders, or children, or whatever. This health center, we spend nothing less than 20 million as it, as, as it, as it is now, but we still need something. Nothing less than seven million to complete it as of now. If you go in there, you see we, we made it as if it is an hospital. It's not an health center because all the facility in the hospital we have it in the health center there. A project so close to the heart of community members, and on their expression, you could tell that the community self our project is long awaited. We've not seen anything. We've we've told them that it's not yet time for them to come. They said they will come because everybody in this community we are happy. When they when we started, they were mocking. Can we do this thing? CDA, can you do this? Leave us. Let's try first. As from now, and my heart is full of joy because not only me will benefit, the whole of my family will benefit. The children, children, children are coming. They will benefit, and it will not stop at this level. By the grace of God, we are still going far. Maybe to General Hospital later in future. Health means a lot to me, like, um, health, without health, I don't think um, we can be able to come to school. Um, without being healthy, I don't think we um, can be alive today. And um, I think by, for this structure here, it means a lot to us in this community, like those who are pregnant, like those um, who are sick can actually come here instead of going far. It will be faster for the residents of this community to easily access the health care. <laughs> And it will make them, it will be, it will make their health like it will make people to be okay and more secure about their health. If the health center is completed, the old eight communities they will enjoy. Elderly person is sick before they look for a far place to take him to or a woman. They will come here for at least they will first check him up, know his problem. Why the Lagasa Community Health Post is on the way. They pose another challenge that would not only affect the community, but its surrounding towns, especially the riverine areas. During the rainy season, we can't even drive our car all the way from our community to the express. It's always difficult for us. We trek a lot. We fold our belongings. Even the road around the Lagasa here, like uh, Ekutu, uh, Lakwe, Oribanwa, uh, the only access, the only way, the only road they can channel their drainage, drainage is this Lagasa because is, this is the only where we have the river. This put fears in the heart of community members that if not attended to, might make the health post a beautiful bride without a groom. Lagasa CDA is hoping that its effort would be complemented by both private and public organizations within the area. When we have every rain, as you came in easily, it will not be easy for you to come in. We made the drainage by ourselves. So we want governor to assist us and all the people surrounding us, the companies, schools and so on, to come to our heads so that this thing will get completed quickly. We are using this opportunity to appeal to all the corporate organizations within our assets. If not even not within our assets, they can come. I mean the NGOs, the uh, corporate bodies, and every other company in Ibejuleki will come to our aid. I thank our governor 
that is Governor Akiyumi Ambode. Uh, in fact, since we have been having governors, he has tried. More than tried. It's only the water is more than the the gari. Omi po jokalo. You see? So that is why I know the man is trying. Uh, there was a time they did road to Ekutu. Ekutu is London now. They have done it. Please, we are appealing to our Ebu governor to come to our aid, especially on this road. 